Hey guys, um, today is my maybe last video for 2021. Um, tomorrow is 2022. If you're watching this, 2022, um, I'm a year less older than you. So yeah, I I'm in the past, man. I I'm I'm a year away from you, man. But let's get started. Today's video is top 10 Goosebumps items of 2021 that I've gotten. These are my personal favorites. They're not dependent on rarity. Some of them are really rare. I mean, my favorite item is my most rarest item because I really like rare things. And that's the whole point of this collection. I mean, not everything in here is that rare. Because I got like, the, for example, like the newer books, they ain't that rare. They ain't that rare to find. But, as you guys know, I like rare stuff. And every useful collector should like rare stuff. If they're into their 90s stuff. Okay, let's get started with number 10. Scary Scribbler. This is the 10th rarest item I think I've gotten this year. It was only 10 bucks. Pretty cool, because I've never seen one of these before. I just scored a point on eBay, told my mom, hey, I want this for Christmas. Could you get me it, please? It's only 10 bucks. And it got here for Christmas, and it's pretty cool. I'm making this before the mail came through today, so I might do an unboxing. Ooh, that would be pretty cool. Okay, number nine. Goosebumps Candy Pinball. Get close up on that. And especially, I will put it on here because the Egg Monster's on it. My favorite Goosebump book is Egg Monster from Mars, so... So I asked for it, and I've never seen one in the packaging forever. There was an image of it online, and I've never seen another one. It came off or something. I can't find it ever again. Yeah, that's Candy Pinball. Now number seven. I'd be surprised I put this so low on the list, but I got this Goosebump skateboard. Now, now we're getting into the really rare stuff, because after this, this, this is where things go, like, really rare. So this skateboard... There's a bunch of them on eBay. Not right now. There used to be. There should be some coming on soon if you guys want a Goosebump skateboard like this. This one's not the best condition. But I do not plan to get another one unless it's in the packaging. Because they do come in the packaging. Go to Aussie Fans channel. Where he has rarest Goosebump items videos. Part 1 and 2. I can't remember which one. He has like a Goosebumps megaphone. Um, skateboards in the packaging. He has store advertisement. He's got a bunch of cool stuff. So... That is number seven. Let's move on to number six. I got this for Easter as an after Easter present. Because I told my mom, hey, can I have some goosebumps this year for Easter? Because I never do. I, I only get goosebumps for my birthday and Christmas. So now we're doing Easter too. Just one item. I got a sloppy. I got a sloppy freaky face up there. But that didn't make it. Because freaky faces aren't that rare. Because they're everywhere. I mean, they're really hard to buy. Because they're a lot of money. This thing. Is especially rare because it's plastic bag it should be torn up. It's you should be throwing this away, but it's a Goosebumps Target bag, and it is indeed official. There's a Target somewhere in there. It should have some licensing down somewhere. Yeah. Licensing right there. Pretty sure pressing. Carly's on one side, Cuddles is on the other. It says, "Give me Goosebumps Halloween." And I thought it was really cool. Okay. Number five. Okay. This item I love especially. Because it's really rare. Now, you may be confused what this is. You've probably never seen this before. This is a juicy item. It's Monster Wood Capsules. Um, I'm not sure what that you usually use them for. But I found them on eBay. I've seen them recently. And... Yeah, I got this in, like, March, and I thought it was really cool. I also got more Monster Blood related stuff over there for March. Pretty cool. So, seems like March is a good month for Monster Blood stuff. But, hey, pretty cool. Monster Blood capsules. Very rare. Okay, I think we're in the top fives. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five. We're in number five. Okay, hold on. The eyes already know what this is. This is the luggage bag. Um, 
I love this luggage bag. This is my favorite item in my collection, I think. Or things that are made of, you know, have things that are related to zippers. One of my favorite items, um, it can extend out. It can open, obviously. That's what a luggage bag is for. It's really hard to open, though. And it's really cool because this thing was like $100, and I've never seen one ever again. Aussie fan has a few. I think he, I think he has like two luggage bags. I know there's duffel bags too. Next year, I want to get a cardboard cutout display. There's something like that on eBay. Don't buy it. That's mine. It's like a thousand bucks, but I'll figure it out. Maybe for like my birthday present next year. It's still in there. Okay. Hold on. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, number four. Ooh. Okay, let's uh, show you. I'm gonna show this. So, this looks like a normal. Oh, nope. Hold up. It's getting loose. Okay, we're good. So, this looks like a normal use pump shirt. Casual. I'll tell you a little closely. So, I've first heard of this on Aussie fans channel never awesome good youtuber of course and it has none over than Mr. Wood on there okay well, let me show you Mr. Wood it says Mr. Wood and it says the dummy it's really cool like it's like the marketing team didn't even read the full book and like Mr. Wood's the villain Sloppy is also a villain I mean he's scarier than Mr. Wood Mr. Wood wanted to commit murder, but Sophie wants to make you slaves and hurt your family in a hundred ways, like he says. Okay, this next thing is also shirt related. Now, it looks like a jacket. I'll go sponge jacket with the big old G on the back. And even though I pension the detail, like this is a prime jacket I got for $20, $30. And the only other one on there is like $300. I got this on bid, so I'm really happy I didn't have to pay much. I, I saw it go off and on because no one was buying. I'm like, this is a perfect present. I never got this from a particular because it didn't arrive on time. Still, it has the Goosebump G slant on the buttons. Alright, the top two. The rarest Goosebump items I got this year. And you've probably only seen this one. In, like, your life. Goosebumps door knocker of the haunted mask. Sit in there. Yep. This is honestly one of my favorite items I got this year. I got this for my birthday. It was really cool. I was so happy when I opened it. I'm like, oh my god, finally. It's been forever since I've even known this existed. Now, Ozzy Fan has two. He has two of these, and I'm pretty sure at least one of them works. There's probably more coming on eBay right now. I don't search it up anymore because I've always looked on eBay for it and I don't need it anymore. So I got it. It doesn't work. There's a button up right here if I if I push down the doctor. But no so no sounds come out. Every once in a while it's just the little red spark stuff comes out of his eyes. So I just flash red for like once. But it's not working. Okay. The final item, I did do an unboxing for this in like September 26th, September 26th, exactly, yes. I know that they, because uh, special stuff happened that day. <laughs> okay, guys, this is something that came from Spain. That's what I said in that video. Okay, so this is my most top favorite Goosebumps Island this I got this year. From a distance, you don't even know what it is, huh? You don't know what it is. If I get it up close, it's a soda can. So, this is number one, soda can. Why is a soda can number one? I am not sure. Here's the thing. This soda can, I have never, I don't know where its origins are. There was one in Spain, obviously, so this guy had it from in Spain. He ever like it. But he got it from America, or he moved to Spain, or family liked goosebumps and they got this i don't know 
these don't exist anymore. This guy just had one in Spain. He was like, put it up for bid. We lost the first one. The guy didn't pay. I was so sad when my mom told me that I lost the first one. I'm not sure if it was for my birthday or not. But then she, but then she won the second one that came on. It was on the day of my birthday. She's like, oh yeah, I won this. And it was orange flavored. Um, yes, orange flavored drink. But they spelled flavor wrong. Oh my god, like favorite and flavor. Like they always spell them wrong. So that is the top, my favorite Goosebumps item of this year is the soda can. And yes, it is licensed. Right there. So yeah, I'm so happy I got this. Huh, my favorite. Put you right there for a second. I just keep it up on the shelf. Right. I'll put it up right here. You can see it. There you go. Okay. Pretty cool. So that is my top 10 Goosebumps items for 2021. I'll see you guys next year unless I make a short today or tomorrow. Um, I'm excited for next year Goosebumps. Um, every year I make a goal. So like 2019, my goal was to get the Insta Horror Claw Machine. And somehow I did it. Even though it was like the rarest Goosebumps I got that year. And next year, which is this year. My goal was to get the Han. Well, no, that was 2020 when I wanted this. My goal this year was to get the Han Mask Door Knocker. Oopsie dow, I got it, obviously. So I just shown it. And this year, this next year, 2022, my goal is to get the Guzman's Goal Tent. Why not? It's not the hardest goal. They come on rarely. But same with the Han Mask Door Knocker. And same with the Prince of Claw Machine. I mean, I've seen more gold tents come on eBay in my life than Juice Bumps Door Knockers and stuff. And if I decide I might want to do a Juice Bumps Door Handle that would come with the Door Knocker, I'd do that too. I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully tomorrow, celebrating New Year's with some special Juice Bumps video. We'll see. I might not even do a video for tomorrow because I just want to spend my tomorrow react relaxing. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.